Today we're going to address the dreaded Sturmy Archer AW three speed hub. Be afraid, very afraid. <laughs> the internal three speed hub was invented at the dawn of the 1900s when bicycling was in its heyday. The AW model was released in 1937. The A is for Type A and the W is for wide range gearing. It has a 25% overdrive and underdrive from the planetary gear system along with a direct drive in the middle position. AW is also known as always works due to the low maintenance bulletproof nature of the hub. In the off chance that something would go wrong, most bike mechanics would choose to lace a new hub in the wheel rather than open up Pandora's box. Every once in a while, when an old bike shop goes out of business, a bunch of old Sturmy Archer hubs are listed on eBay. I bought a couple a few years back and got them going with easy fixes. They are not that scary. <laughs> All Sturmy Archer AW hubs have a month and year date of manufacture stamped on the hub. Now that we've cleaned the hub, we can just see the 71 and 2 date stamp. This gives us a manufacture date of February 1971. We are going to disassemble the hub, check parts for wear, clean, pack the bearings, and reassemble. This hub uses Whitworth hardware, so I will be breaking out the dreaded adjustable open end wrench. Oi! Spanner! What? Spanner! Okay, let's get started. So these hubs work with a planetary gear system. The best way to think about how these work is the drive, so the input, so this is the drive right here, and then the output is one of two PAW systems. There's a PAW right here, which you can actually see the PAW. Inside here there's PAWs as well. This screws into the hub, and so this ratchets inside the hub, and this ratchets inside the hub. So right now it's stuck in third gear. The drive right now is connected to the planetary gear cage, this section over here. Over here is the ring gear and inside here is the planetary gears. The axle stays fixed so I'm going to make one full turn with the drive hub. So that would be right here to here and what you can see, what has happened is, I've made one turn, but the wheel is made about a 25% further, or a quarter turn further in that one turn. This is how third gear actually drives the wheel faster than your one turn. So third gear, the drive goes directly into the cage, and the output is into the ring gear. We'll go deeper into this once we take it apart.
Right here would be the sun gear. In here are the planetary gears. So this goes into, as you can see now, it's spinning the planetary gears. So this is the gearing system right here. You have what's known as the ring gear, which is right here. So this then goes over here. That clicks in here. And then that's how we get our planetary gear system to work through here between the sun gear, the planet gear, and the ring gear. So that's how you get your down gearing or up gearing based on what you drive. The clutch floats inside of here and when it's furthest down it's engaged the drive this is the driver so this is what the sprocket goes on to and then this clicks into here so this is the driver is always driving this thing that they're calling a clutch and then this can float and so when you're clicking the gears, you're pulling this in and out of here. So your first option is for the driver to be driving the cage. The ring gear paws are driving the actual wheel. And as we showed before, if we're driving this way, you can see that this is turning faster so this and this is turning at the same speed so the input is turning the cage and the output is turning the ring gear and the ring gear is turning faster so when you're in third gear this is going faster than this and that's why you're hearing a click in third gear because this is going faster than this so this is ratcheting back inside the rim so that would be the overdrive. When you go into direct drive, there are little uh, ridges inside of here. This then catches on one of those ridges. Now you have the ring gear driving the paws. So this is direct drive. So when it's like this, there is no overdrive or underdrive. When you go into low gear, this goes all the way down here that's collapsing the spring. So now when we're driving this, the output is going to be this because we've collapsed the springs here. And now these paws are going to drive it at the under speed. So we're driving the wheel. So this you can see is going at the same pace as this but then those are going slower than the turning.
Well, we survived the Sturmy Archer Hub rebuild. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> so what's next? We start the assembly. Cracking. Well, that's all for now. And remember, it's only original ones. Take care.